If your Windows printer shows that it's offline, there is several things that you could do to troubleshoot. The first thing you could do is you could go to Control Panel. In Control Panel, make sure that the view is set to large. And then you want to click on Devices and Printers. In Devices and Printers, go ahead and locate the printer that you're working with. Right click the printer and select See What's Printing. In here, you could click on Printer. And this option that says Use Printer Offline, if it's checkmarked, go ahead and uncheck the printer. That should bring back the printer online. Another thing you could do is you could right click the printer and then go to properties. You could go to ports. If your printer is a network printer, there's a chance that the IP address may change if it's not set statically. So you could click on the port that's checkmarked, click on configure port. And then here, you could go to your printer and locate the IP address if your printer has a LCD screen. Otherwise, you may have to ask your administrator to give you the IP address of the printer. So in here, you would delete the IP address that's currently there and then put in the new one. You want to make sure the SNMP status is disabled by unchecking the box. You click OK. And then you could try printing after you change the IP address. The other thing you could do is you could right click the printer. Then you could click on troubleshoot. And this will basically troubleshoot any issues that it encounters with the printer. And sometimes it could fix the problem for you. Another thing you could do is you could go to the Windows search and go to services. On the services, you're looking for a service called Print Spool. And this service manages the printing ability in Windows 10. So if you go and check the status, and if it's not running, then that's a problem. You want to right click the service and click Start. If everything is grayed out, then that means you don't have access. So you will need to contact your administrator to give you access and start the print spooling service. And lastly, what you could do is you could right click the Windows logo here and then go over to Device Manager. In Device Manager, you want to click on Printer Queues. You want to find your printer. And then you could uninstall the device. And then you want to click on action and then scan for hardware changes. All right, sometimes the printer will get installed automatically. If the printer did not came back automatically, then this is the opportunity to reinstall the printer. So sometimes if you go to Google and put in the name of your printer followed by the word driver. You could re-download the product's drivers and most installation would automatically detect your printer if it's on a network. So you won't have to worry about entering any information. Okay, so once the installation file is completed, you can go ahead and run the installer if it's a HP printer. Any other printer, you could run the installer for that company. And generally, once the installer completes, then your printer will be renewed and it should show on the list and set up as default. And if it's not set as default, you can right click the printer and make sure that it's selected as a default printer. All right, so that's the steps that you could do to fix 
any printer issues especially if the printer is offline well thank you for watching if you have any questions leave your comment below and please subscribe